So uh, at this meeting, we presented a abstract uh, looking at the side effects of prednisone in patients treated with abiraterone on the two Cougar registration studies, 301 and 302, and looked at what were the real side effects that could be ascribed to specifically prednisone. There's a lot of resistance uh, among individuals to use abiraterone because of concern about the extra prednisone. The FDA label right now indicates that the proper dosing for abiraterone for metastatic castrate resistant prostate cancer is 1,000 milligrams a day associated with 5 milligrams of prednisone twice a day. So because of this extra prednisone with this oral medication, there's been some resistance to using it. There's some fearfulness, some hesitation. So what was done was a, a look back about uh, 2,200 patients that were treated on the two Cougar 301 and 302 registration trials to actually look at what side effects were reported when prednisone was used either in the placebo arm or in the combination with the abiraterone. And the bottom line was the incidence of grade 3 toxicity, which is very significant toxicity, was much less than 5%. And in fact, it was extremely rare to see any very significant toxicity. The things you tend to run into with prednisone, the list can be quite long, but the more common things that we tended to see out of about 2,200 patients was about 30 or so patients who ended up with hyperglycemia, um, much less were, in the, uh, were diagnosed with things such as hip fractures or cataracts or frank diabetes. These are things that are commonly seen with prednisone, uh, but again, in, in terms of excess toxicity associated with the use of prednisone and abiraterone, particularly in the context of these two clinical trials, uh, very rare, very unusual, and I think the bottom line is for those people who are not comfortable with giving along with five milligrams of a day, it can be done fairly safely, and the toxicity profile is very limited.